Hello, um, it's Brittany, and today I am going to be doing a Monday's How to Clean Your Makeup. And I am in a new area for my videoing instead of my desk because I think my lighting looks a lot better. So tell me if anything needs to be fixed, like if you like this spot or if you like my spot I was at earlier or if you want me to keep changing spots every video. You know, also go ahead and click that subscribe button down there before we start. Um, why? Because I'm awesome. I'm joking. Because that way you guys will get my videos when they come up. When they, um, when I upload them. So go ahead and like it and subscribe. So let's get started. Tip number one is brushes with wooden, here let me show you guys an example, brushes with wooden parts right here, when you wash them, um, make sure that when you let them dry to angle them like this, so that way all the water runs off of the brush, not like this, and it'll run onto here and it'll soak into this and deform your brush. So make sure you always angle your brush after you dry them or after you wash them. So that's tip number one. See, tip number two is to clean your brushes after every use. Personally, I think that that's a lot of times to wash your brush, and I think that that would really hurt the. Oh my gosh, why can't I think? I'm so like out of it right now. Um, but I think it would mess up this honestly. So, but you know what? I got this from a reliable site, and um, I think I'll I. Th yeah, I know the site. Um, I'll have the link down below. Um, but to clean them with also like an antibacterial soap, or you can just use dish soap or hand soap, which really I prefer like hand soap because you don't need to go out and buy antibacterial soap for your brushes because that's just a little much. Now, number three is to change your mascara monthly. Yeah, I know that seems like a lot, but you know what? Unless you want pink eye or an eye infection, I would change my mascaras monthly. Um, these are all new tips for me also, so don't feel like, oh my god, I haven't been doing any of this right and I've been doing my makeup for like five years. No, just take these tips and, you know, go put them to work. I don't even know what I'm saying. Look at this giraffe I got for Valentine's Day. He's so cute. I got him for my sister. He's so adorable. Like, oh. Anyways, back to what we were talking about. Off topic. Totally off topic. Tip number four. Disinfect your eyeshadow. Okay. Now, you probably are like, what? How do I do that? Well, I will tell you. Don't worry. Don't worry. No, no, no. No need to worry. Okay, so how do you do this? Well, you wipe off the top with a tissue. And then you take rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle. Just rubbing alcohol. That's all. Nothing else. You spray it on there, like one spritz. And then rub the alcohol. Well, don't rub the alcohol. Why would you rub the alcohol? With rubbing alcohol, I meant. Um, and then let it dry, and for you guys that are worried that it'll mess up your makeup, it won't. It won't mess up your makeup, it won't harm your makeup, it won't harm you. All it'll do is kill the germs, so the only thing that's being harmed is and the one... number five is one that I see my friends doing. Um, well, I don't see them doing I see them doing the opposite. They take their eye and eyeshadow palettes, and they'll, like, wipe it with their finger and then stick it on. Get a spatula, um, especially for like creams and stuff. Oh, excuse me. You don't want to be sticking your finger inside of your cream and then putting it on. So you want to take a, like a spatula. You can get them from Rite Aid stuff and just scoop it and then put it on your finger because you're getting like germs and stuff inside of your creams and on your eyeshadows. So eyeshadows just use a brush and for your creams just use a spatula. Or a brush. Well, probably the same thing with the spatula because you don't want to put your brush that you, unless you're washing them every day. So basically, all these tips are going to be helpful. So just go and get a spatula or just 
be safe. Tip six. That's six, right? In Spanish? Let's see. I don't even know. Um, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Yeah, seis. Tip six. Stay in there with me, guys. It's a Monday and I'm tired, so. Yeah. Um, repair. How do you repair smashed powder? Now, I've dropped my bronzer so many times, it's not even funny. And then I open it up and it's like, where did it all go? And I look at my makeup bag and it's like, what? How did, what? No, that's not fair. So, assemble it back together as best as you can. And then you just spray it with rubbing alcohol. And let it dry. And boom, girl, you're back in business. You are back in the business. So, go get you some rubbing alcohol because this thing works wonders with your makeup. So, girl, mm -hmm. if you don't got no rubbing alcohol, you don't got no life. I'm joking. I'm sorry, that was a little mean. Anyways, on to tip number seven. Now, sorry guys, if you're getting bored, there's only two more. So, seven and eight, and then we're done. We're back out. Okay, so, tip number seven is to clean your eyelash curler pads weekly. And replace them every three months not your eyelash curler just your eyelash curler pads so replace them every three months and wash them every week that makes sense right that that makes a lot of sense and I don't even know what I'm saying but whatever I'm saying I wrote it down so you know I don't have it memorized up here but on number eight. Now for all you guys who wear lipstick, clean your lipstick. How do you do this? Well, rubbing alcohol is involved in it. Now, this one you have to listen very closely. Wipe off the top of the lipstick. So like, you know, wheel it up a little bit. Just a little bit. And then wipe off that top. Not all of it. And then dip the exposed part, which is only that little part that's that when you wheel it up it comes out. So only that part. Dip that in rubbing alcohol. And then remove it gently by dabbing it. And then allow it to dry. So dip it. Dab it. And dry it. The three D's. Ooh, that's weird. Yeah. So dip. Dab. Dry. Yeah. This was the most awkward video. But whatever. Life is awkward. Actually, it's not awkward unless you make it awkward. And I just so, guys, I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. And um, personally, I think I'm getting a lot better with talking to a camera. So, I think I've gotten a lot better. And um, let me know if I got a lot better by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing. I am at 9 subscribers and I'm trying to get to 50. So, and then I'm probably going to try and get to like 2,000 something and like 48,000, you know. I want to go big so I can help everybody that I can. So share me and tweet your friends, um, Facebook them, Instagram them, DM them, SMS them, whatever you want to do with them. Just, just tell them about me. Like this video, comment, and subscribe. Um, why you should subscribe, go back to the beginning of this video and watch it again. And then you'll see why. So, thanks guys. Um, My little yeah. kitty, Coral, wants to say bye. Say bye, Coral. Bye. Say bye. Bye. She won't talk either. It's a Monday. Why won't you talk? Hmm? Okay, sorry. Yeah, my mom's a crazy cat lady and she has three cats. This is Coral. Pretty sure you guys will meet the other ones. Big eyes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll let you go. Go back to sleeping. Go back. Alright, well, bye guys.